Hello, Sam from Toolhead here today. Today's project, 2009 Ford Escape, Power Steering Control Module Programming and Setup. Visit our website, toolhutusa.com, for all of your diagnostics, programming equipment needs. My name is Sam. I'm a mobile programmer, mobile diagnostician, equipment sales, and diagnostics trainer uh, for Tool Hut USA. So today's project, 2009 Ford Escape. The customer has installed a new or reman uh, power steering control module in this particular vehicle. Uh, so it's a little bit different. We're going to go through a couple of things. I'll be honest with you, I was not even going to do this video. A couple of guys requested it, so I decided to go ahead with it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our IDS. If you're not using IDS, if you're using FJDS, the procedure is very similar. Uh, just a couple of the screens are different, but the process should be the same. You may need to use your scanner to do a steering wheel position calibration. Most uh, aftermarket scan tools should perform that function. If you can't do that function, then you're not going to be able to finish the job. So, again, it's 2009. Going to go to module programming, program module installation under power steering control module or PSCM. It is going to verify the VIN of the vehicle. Seems to write the VIN in a lot of modules today. So ask me if the VIN's correct. I'm going to tell it yes it is, because it is. Matches the one on the dash. So it says to turn the key off. Now the original module, or the replacement module, is in this vehicle. So it was unable to get the information out of it. So it asked me if I want to use automatic or manual to get the as-built data. And of course, I get the data is corrupt from the as-built automatic files. So uh, we're going to go through it the manual way. So we're going to go th to www.motorcraftservice.com. Going to go under free resources under quick guides. We're going to go to module data as built here. We're going to either type in the VIN or copy and paste it from IDS. I'm a copy and paste guy, so right click, copy, paste. Now we got to scroll down and unfortunately that's not the same engineer who wrote this file as did the IDS, so they don't call it a power steering control module in here, so you have to look for the numbers. It's, um, it's 730 dash 0101. So we're just going to scroll down until we find 730-0101, which is VAPS. I don't know why they can't make it the same. I guess it make too much sense, right? So we're going to type in those eight numbers here. It's going to tell me, configuring, please wait. Module installation is complete. It's not a very long process at all. It's a very simple process, as far as I'm concerned. Then here, you have to go here and configure your steering angle sensor. This may or may not be available in FGDS, so you may have to use your uh, other scan tool to do this function. So it says it's complete, and to turn the key off for 10 seconds for it to uh, be successful. So the key is off, so we're going to wait our 10 seconds. I've not sped you up through this process at all. So like I say, this is a very fast, very simple process here. Next thing I'm going to do is we're going to check for codes. Um, I like to check for codes being a mobile guy. So if the customer calls later in the day, I kind of understand what I left it with. And I always try to tell my uh, customers what they got for codes. Uh, I don't necessarily do a 
complete vehicle scan though I always check the module that I'm here to check or configure your program whatever we do have a C2000 string angle sensor not calibrated uh, code we just calibrated the string angle position sensor so I am going to clear that code and make sure it does not return I have cycled the key a couple of times uh, to verify I've also turned the string wheel lock to lock just to make sure that I'm not going to get any further codes so that's it for this one like I said quick and easy pretty painless thanks for watching subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more of this type of videos we're also adding some diagnostics videos uh, to our channel and we're gonna have some more uh, general auto repair type stuff going on the channel as well so stay tuned we are growing hit the hit the bell if you want to be notified as we release new stuff talk to you later have a great day.